Hey everybody, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make these super cute earrings or at least the little decorative pieces of them for just the earring base, which is essentially just this part. I have a different video that I made for that, which I will link in the iCard. So you can watch that video and learn how to make just the rainbow loom triangle and attach the earring hook to it. And then you can come back to this video and my next few videos and learn how to add other decorations to the earrings to make them look cooler. I'm just gonna show you these real quick. This first one just has pearler bead flowers dangling off of it. And then this one is actually a stud earring. And that's, that's the only thing that's different about it, but you could still make something like this and add something dangling off the bottom of it. But without further ado, let's just get right into the tutorial. So to make this earring design, you will need one of these earrings with the hook attached. As I said, I have a different video showing you guys how to do that. And then you will need perler beads as well as a pegboard that can make the flower shape. So like that, this, board can. This is the octagon shaped one, I believe. And then the one that's shaped kind of like a star can make them too. The center of a circle can make them. There's many different pegboards that you can get that flower shape as well as you will need an iron and then you will need some jewelry pliers and large jump rings. These ones are either nine or 10 millimeters. The reason why we need such big jump rings is just so that it can fit through the flowers, if that makes sense. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna need to do is make the flowers. So for these ones, I just made two flowers and since there's four spots, they kind of end up off-centered, but is what I'm gonna do is just put flowers on like this band and this band on the one we're making right now. But there's a few different ways you could add more so they're all symmetrical, but basically I'm just showing you this to say you need to make two flowers. So you put one in the center there and then put six around it. just like that. And then for the other one, I'm gonna do the colors reversed. I really love this green color. I really like the pink color too, but I'm super obsessed with green right now. I guess I always have been, it's my favorite color. But anyways, I really love these colors. Also check out my Perler Bead haul, that will be in the iCard too. So now you're gonna need to iron these. So here's the finished flowers. These, honestly, these are flowers I already had. I didn't want to stop and iron anything new. So yeah, so this is, basically this is just what it looks like though. So when that's done, you know, after they've cooled off and everything, you want to take them off of your pegboard. And then I always like to iron mine so that the backs are completely flat so that there's no holes left because I just think it looks nicer and then it's more sturdy. So is what I did is I took these pliers and I just poked a hole through the back of there. And then I like put these through there as well, just to make the hole bigger so it can fit these jump rings. Now we're gonna take our, I almost called these C-clips. These are not C-clips, these are jump rings. You're gonna take your jump ring and open it up and then put it through one of the bottom loops of your earring and then take your little perler bead flower and put it on the jump ring. and then close up that jump ring. And here is the other earring. So this is what they look like together. So I did this on like the first and third, and then I did this on the second and fourth on the bands there. But a way that you could do four flowers on there is attach the flowers to some chain or an extra jump ring so that they could be hanging at different levels. Just because if you had all four, like if you had all four things having beads on them, having flowers on them, it would be super bulky. So there is a way to alter it to be able to put four on there, but I've just done this to show you guys basically, just to give you guys the idea. Okay, so now we're going to be making this earring. For this earring, you will need 
the triangle base that I showed how to make in one of my other videos. A large jump ring. This one is nine or 10 millimeters. Perler beads, a pegboard, and an iron. And then you're gonna need some sort of glue. I think you could probably use hot glue too, or any other sort of craft glue. I'm just using E6000. And then you'll also need an earring stud finding thingy. It's basically just like a blank ear stud. So the first thing you're gonna do is just make your flowers. I'm not gonna show you how to do that since I already did that, but you guys know how to do that. So yeah, so you're gonna need your little perler bead flowers here and you're going to want to take some of your glue and put it on the back of your flower and then put the stud on the back there, which I already have one that I did a few days ago so that it's nice and dry. And it is also the one that goes with this earring anyways. If a concern you have is that these look kind of big and like these might be too big to be studs, trust me, they work just fine as studs. They kind of take up your whole earlobe, but they're not too big. And I'm just basing that off of my own personal ears, but I have really tiny ears. So if you have normal sized ears or big ears, these will work great for you. But yeah, and then I also did the thing where I poked the hole in the back. You want to poke a hole in the back for your jump ring before you glue it on. You can do it after too. It's just easier before you glue it on. Sorry for all that talking and rambling and stuff, but I didn't really need to show a whole lot of it because I already have this little, this little thing pre-made. So you're gonna take your big jump ring, open it up, put it through your flower here. Also, another quick little DIY. You can just make super easy little perler bead flower studs, you know, like you don't have to add this part or the jump ring or anything. You could just make a little perler bead flower, glue a, a stud finding to it, and it would be super cute. But anyways, so I got the jump ring on there. So now I'm just going to put one of the corners through there. One of the corner cap bands goes onto the jump ring and then you want to close it up okay and i usually end up with the closure of the jump ring on the front but i like to just move it to the back because i think it looks nicer but yeah this is the final product so now we are done with these earrings. Make sure to subscribe so that you can see the other decorative ideas, I guess, for these. They will post, they will be posted like right the day before and the day after this. Basically, I'm just gonna be posting for four days straight all the different tutorials for these things. So make sure to check my channel to see that, get some more ideas, get some more inspiration. If you come up with any ways to decorate these earrings, show me what you've done on Instagram. And maybe if a few different people or one person comes up with a few different ideas that I could remake as well, I could do a tutorial. Of course, I'd like give them a shout out and I'd show a screenshot of their account in my video and leave links and everything. So, you know, if you want to do that, if you want to make just like the basic triangle and add stuff to it, make it your own, let me know how you decorated it. And I could do that in a video in the future and feature it and everything. But other than that, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.